Hello and welcome. This is TV One Pentathlon Season Two. Well, the stage is heating up and games are getting even more tougher because we are down with the top most important, top most talented schools here in Sri Lanka. Well, we call this the second round. Why do we say that? Well, this is because after the last round where we had 32 schools battling it out, we are now down to the next top 16 who will be facing each other in round two, getting closer to the grand finale. And with that, we are all set to be begin our second match in round two. And so let's introduce both of our teams. We start off with Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya Gampaha. Well, the girls from Gampa are on stage and it's time for us to find out who their opponents would be. Well, let's put our hands together for the girls all the way from Gaul. This is Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya. are on stage, all dressed in green, looking very sharp indeed for round two. We start off by asking the captain from Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya how they have been preparing. How, how has your performance or how has your preparation improved from the last time? Um, we try our level best to give them a good match. And I think, I guess we can give them a good match. All right, so they hope to give them a good match. Let's hope it is indeed a match to remember. That's right. Well, full of smiles in the studio because we remember we had some really good memories, cherishing memories from the last time we met them. Well, even some when they see me, they don't want to even talk because they're like, you put us so much on the spot and we don't want to even talk to you. That's what one captain from the other side had to say. She's not even looking at me. Okay, right, so we need to find out who the opponent and what the preparation is like of Lumini. Are you going to give them a good game? Yes, we practiced hard and prepared well for this competition and we are trying our best to win this game. Practice hard and also they are prepared to give the girls from Gampa a very good game. Well, I think the teams now seem to be on the same level and ready to take on each other. But before that, as always, we need to introduce our elite panel of judges. So it's time for us to recognize our elite panel. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Janit Kunusekara, ISA in Service Advisor, Sonal Education Office, Hakuna. Well, also joining on the panel is Ayoma Damianti, working as a resource person in NIE and Ministry of Education. Well, Trishma, we have our judges introduced. Both teams have told us how the preparation has been. It's time for us to break the ice. But before that, we need to see which school wins the toss, which is a go-getter for each and every round. Okay, so shall we get the captains? Let's have the captains come right up front and also invite one of our judges to please join us to oversee the tossing of the coin. Well, who do we give the go-aheads to? Is it going to be Ratnavali or is it going to be Sangamitta? You want to take it first? Yes. Why do you want to take it first? <laughs> you want special. to be the first in everything you do? I know. <laughs> okay, right. So you will be selecting TV1 or Pentathlon? TV1. TV1 it is, which means? Pentathlon. You'll have to follow her, right? <laughs> okay, right. So TV1 and Pentathlon. Are we ready? Yes, we are ready. Let's see what happens. It is pentathlon, which means it's on the favoring side for? Pentathlon. We will go first in each round. You'll be going first in each round. So not much needs to be said because she herself from Sangamita said we will be going in first. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's shake hands and start. It. Okay, so the girls from Sangamita won the toss, which means giving the girls from Gampa Ratnavali to follow them in each of their marks. Well, I think the game is set and it's time for us, without much further ado, to move on to our very first round. Are you all ready? You are ready. Are you all ready? Okay, Trishma, then what should we do? Let's introduce the first round. Which is called Balance. Your quiz. 
In our very first round, balance your quiz. Each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. And these players will in turn have an opportunity to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. Each correct answer gives them five points. If they answer the fifth question correctly, they get 10 points. However, if they do drop the table tennis ball even once, then they will be disqualified from taking on further questions. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations. So let's start off with focusing our attention to Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya. Lumini, who are your three core players for this? Sahanya, Muttali and myself. And who is coming in first? I am coming. The captain comes forward. Let's put our hands together for her. <laughs> okay, so you've got 30 seconds on the clock, just like last time. And, of course, Prishma has all the questions set for you. Are we good to go? Yes. Okay, let's start in three, two, one, go. What percentage of Earth's surface is covered with water? 97%. Can you repeat that? 97%. Wrong, it's 70%. Who wrote the novel Don Quixote? Pass. It's Miguel de Cervantes. What is the capital of Latvia? Pass. It's Riga. Which sports team has won the most number of NBA titles? Basketball. Wrong, it's Boston Celtics. Who first invented the bicycle tyre? Time is up. The correct answer is John Dunlop. Okay, so let's uh, focus our attention to Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya. I would like to ask the captain who her three core players are. It's going to be Sandali Akitma and me. And who's going to come in first? Sandali. Sandali, come down. You've got 30 seconds, okay? Okay, and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. What percentage of Earth's surface water is brine water? Plus. It's 97%. Who wrote the novel? Emma. Uh, End of chicken. Wrong, it's Jane Austen. What is the capital of Croatia? Pass. It's Zagreb. Montreal Can Canadiens has won most number of world championship titles in which sport? Basketball. Wrong, ice hockey. Bartolomeo Cristofori first invented which musical instrument? Time is up. The correct answer is piano. Okay, so let's move on once again to call and ask Captain, who is coming in next? Sahana will be coming. Come forward. You've got 30 seconds on the clock and time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who created the famous ballet, Swan Lake? Tchaikovsky. Correct. In which year is the next Rugby World Cup? 2019. Correct. Who first invented stainless steel? Yes. It's Woods. Who created the statue, The Thinker? Rodin. Correct. Which country has won the most Olympic medals after USA and Russia? China. Wrong, it's Germany. Your questions are up. Let's move on to the opponents and ask the captain who is coming in next. It's Akitma. So Akitma, you've got 30 seconds to deal with. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay, here you go. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. Who created the famous musical The Phantom of the Opera? Pass. It's Andrew Lloyd Webber. First Rugby World Cup was held in which year? 1993. Wrong, 1987. Who first patented FM radio? Pass. It's Edwin Armstrong. Statue of David is currently on display in which city? Madonna. Wrong, it's Florence. Which Latin American country has won the most Olympic medals? Turkey. Wrong, it's Cuba. Your questions are up. Okay, let's focus our attention to Lumini and ask who the final play is going to be. Mutili. Calm down. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to deal with. Krishma has all the questions. Krishma, are we good to go? Yes, we are. Yes, we're good to go. And let's start the game in 3, 2, 1, go. The historical city of Babylon is located in which country? Turkey. Wrong, Iraq. Who first discovered yellow fever? Pass. It's Walter Reed. A Borgian woman... Kathy Freeman won 400 meter Olympic gold in which year? Pass. It's 2000. Protestant Martin Luther lived in which country? USA. Wrong, Germany. Who wrote the novel Matilda? Walter. Correct. Your questions are asked. 
Well, that was the final player from Sangamitra. Let's move on to the final player of Ratnavali. The captain comes forward. So you've got 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. The historical city of Malacca is located in which country? Java. Wrong, it's Malaysia. Who first discovered the tuberculosis bacteria? Uh, Alexander Fleming. Wrong, it's Robert Koch. Saina Nehwal won an Olympic medal in badminton in which year? 2001. Wrong, it's 2012. Modern Dalai Lama resides in which country? Tibet. Wrong, it's India. Who wrote Adventure of Pinocchio? Carlo Collodi. Correct. Time's up. Well, Krishma, both teams have now finished round one. So, I think everyone is waiting to see how both schools have scored. Yes, thus far. indeed. But before that, we have to go in for a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season Two. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2. We just finished with the first round between Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya Gappaha and Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul. And it's now time for us to reveal the results at the end of round one. Trishma, how do you think the scores look like? Do you think there was a big downfall in one school or the other? Well, I'm excited to know. We will find out just about right now. Let's find out how Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya has done. In the first round, they scored themselves 10 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul have scored themselves 25 points. Well, there you go. You heard the scores for yourself and saw it for yourself. Well, I don't think both schools must be really happy about the points they gain. But nevertheless, the girls from Sangamita are leading. Are you happy about that? You're happy that you're leading? Okay, right. And what is the reaction like from the other end? Okay, they're full of smiles, which mean what I feel is that they are ready to give a good game in the rounds to come. Well, with that being said, uh, Trishma, the rounds are going to progress. Without much further talk and do, let's move on to a very creative and a very exciting and a personal favorite of all of us, which we call Express to Impress. In round two, Express to Impress, we will see both the schools giving us the best of their acting abilities as well as performance skills because we will be providing them with a story lead which they then have to complete and present before our judges who will be Judging this particular round, they have a maximum of 100 points to gain if they really impress our judges. So let's find out what is the story lead that Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya picks for themselves. A young man was riding on a horse with heavily loaded mangoes, which were packed carelessly. He travelled in his horse a long way to collect those mangoes. He wasn't sure about how long it would take to reach home. He saw an old man on his way and asked him how long he should travel to reach his place. And then... Well, and then we are to find out how very well the girls from Sangmita Balika Vidyale Gaul put out their good performance, their best performance of this very set. Are you all ready? Okay, so you've got two minutes to deal with. Okay, right, so they are ready. Let's start right about now in 3, 2, 1. How can I carry this heavy load? What a man he is. Okay, let's come. Okay, come, come. Uh, oh, uncle, uh, do you know... <coughs> oh, uncle, do you know how long to go to my home? How do I know? Go back to home. Okay, okay, uncle. I'll find my way home. Thank These you. These young people don't take our words. Achoo. Oh, oh, please, guys, guys. I want to find my way to home. How long it is? It can be bothered. The mangoes. 
You see? The mangoes. Uh, okay, uh, I know shortcut for your place, but the thing is... Oh, oh I remember. Um, the way I think it's under construction. So, please can you go and check? Okay, uh, job, my holes. Okay, we'll take your holes yeah. and the mangoes. No worries, the holes and the mangoes. Okay, okay thank you, Argo. Come here, Hosey. Good year. For a fool <laughs> man he Yeah, is. he is. <laughs> oh no, Girl. there's no such a way. Oh, oh my god, my mangoes. Oh, oh no. Where are my mangoes? They have cheated me. Oh no, my mangoes. What should I do now? Oh my god. Oh, I have to listen to that old man. I was very full. Oh my god. We should respect our elders. I have a little bit of a cold. So, here, yeah, this is for you. Sneeze and show a bit. Sneeze and show. Yeah, this is a gift for me to you. Sneeze and show. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for that uh, splendid performance displayed by Sangamitra Balika Vidyalaya. Okay, right. So I think it was an uh, entertaining act and also very well versed, but we are not the deciders. It is our elite panel of judges. Before that, we need to see how very well the opponents have prepared themselves to show their very best. Let's see what they pick. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy man named Harman. All day long, he would dawdle and lie on his cot in the backyard, observing the birds and flowers and admiring nature. He would not lift a finger to do any work. And then... Well, a very uh, short story which uh, the girls from uh, Gampaha, Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya, has to follow up on. I'm sure they are excited because we are very much more excited to see how very well they will be performing on stage. Girls, are you all ready? You are ready, okay? So then why do we have to wait longer? Let's start. Your time starts in three, two, one. Herman. Herman! Is this the time to sleep? It's already 12. Oh my God, why are you shouting? Please look at this environment. It's charming. By the way, this is my leisure time. Ha, it's been your leisure time since this morning to next morning. You do nothing? No use at all. Useless man you are. I don't know what to do. I hate this man. Sometimes. What's that? See these two? They are curling again. Yes, they are curling all the time. But we don't have time to curl. We have so much work. We should get on with it. Yeah, and the winter season also coming. So we should collect nectar. Yes. We are the bees. We are the firing bees. La 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 la. la, la, la. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Quick, quick. <laughs> dad? Hi, son. Why is this dad? You always get scolded by mother. I'm fed up now. Nonsense. Why isn't anyone in this house, son? Living in happy mood. Look at this, please. Let's go. Let's, let's go. They are moving from flower to flower. Very happy. Wait. Is that secret of happiness? Hard work blended with beauty? Oh my God. Why I didn't see this aspect of nature? I always admire nature, but I didn't see this. This is what my son and my wife were trying to tell me. Now, nature is also saying it's me. This is the time for a change. I should join with them. Hey guys, I will help you. No? Yeah, I'm fully changed. Let's. Oh, it's oh. good. No. <laughs> Come. How? How do you? See, how this can be happen. Krishma, would you agree with me if I tell? Girls are very dramatic. Of course they are. They always do better at drama. Why are they so dramatic? Why are you not dramatic? That's a question. <laughs> That's a good question. But. 
Have you seen singing bees? Well, today that's what we saw. Beautiful singing bees on stage. I like to hear a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Small part. You were singing, saying la la la, we are free bees. <laughs> We are the bees, we are the firing bees, we are the firing bees, la 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 <laughs> Okay, so la 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 la, the singing bees have displayed their talent. I believe that our panel of judges must have got uh, very excited watching these two talented teams perform. But we have to yet wait and see what the scores look like the end of this very interesting game. So I would like to focus attention to the judges and ask them how both schools have fared thus far. You have been given marks under these criteria. Uh, your creativity, building up the story, content, and the vocabulary you have used. Then, all in all, you have gained uh, Ratnavali Balika Vidyale Gampaha. 76 points. And Sangamitta Balika Vidyale Gaul, 78 points. Well, while we thank our judges for reading out those points, well, if you take a look at the points, you can see for yourself, both teams have just gone away with just a few points, which means both of the schools, both Ratnavali and Sangamitta, have put on a really good game and I'm sure it was a very hard decision for the judges to make that mark. Well, with that being said, it's time for us to see how the both schools have fared at the end of two rounds. Let's find out the results. At the end of round two, we see that Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya have scored themselves 86 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya have scored themselves 103 points. Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya has been able to surpass the 100 mark. However, the opponents, Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya, are still below the 100 mark. Well, it's time for us to see if the schools could compete and bring up a better, exciting game because the games yet to come are more interesting and more challenging because that is why we call it the third round, which is called Word the Basket. In round three, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. They are then given a word that has 12 alphabets, with several of the alphabets locked. In order to unlock these alphabets, the players will have to successfully net a ball into the basket. Each successful netting will give them 10 points, and if they can correctly guess the word, that will give them 70 points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of round three. But before we commence the game, we need to see who will be going in first? Of course, it is going to be the girls from Sangamitta. And I would like to ask you to pick a number from this. This is word number five. Well, Lumini picked out word number five. Before we take a look at what word number five is, I would like to ask you, Lumini, who are your three co-players for this match? Sahanya, Sandalya and Samadhi will be coming. Okay. With that being said, let's focus our attention to see what word number five is. Well, you've got a space A, two spaces O, two spaces D, three spaces and E at the end. Lumini, who will you be sending in first and what is the letter she would be unlocking? Blank after A. Sahanya will be coming for the blank after A. Okay, Sahanya, here you go. Well, that was indeed a successful attempt. Captain, who will you be sending in next? And what is the letter Sandhi will be unlocking? Sandhi, first blank. The first blank. Sandhi, come forward. Captain, what is your decision? Who will you be sending in next? Captain, Lumini. Blank before E. And who will you be sending in? Samadhi. Samadhi, come forward.
an unsuccessful uh -huh. attempt. Captain Lumini, who will you be sending in next or will you be going ahead with the word? Lumini, let's make a quick decision. Lumini, Lumini, who will you be sending? We are sending the fourth player. You are sending the fourth player and... Uh, Muthiri. And which letter would you like unlocked? Blank after R. Blank before O. Blank before O. Okay, come forward. Well, unsuccessful attempt and minus points. Captain, what is your decision? Will you be sending your final player or will you be deciding what the word is? You're going to decide what the word is? Yes. Yes? You need to make your decisions quickly. I need to know it soon. You're going to decide? You're going to decide? Okay, I'm going to start counting. You have to say what the word is. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five. If you don't guess, no points. Four, three. Do you have the word? Do you all have the word? Two. Can you all do that? Can you all guess what the word is? Because if I say one, your time is up. I'm very sorry, Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya, your time is up. Unsuccessful attempt, sending more players, which means minus points. Okay, seems like Sangamita has not been able to guess what the word is. Well, I think time is up. That's how the game goes. That's how the rules are placed. Let's take a look at what the word is, which they couldn't guess. It is something very important to all of us. It is carbohydrates. We hope not that the girls from the opposing team, Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya, that they would be able to guess what the word is. Are you all ready? Yes. The captain, she is ready. If to see what word she picks out, let's focus our attention to the numbers. This is word number eight. Well, Taruka from Ratnavali Balika Vidyale picked out word number eight. And before she is able to take a look at the word, let's ask her who her three co players are for this match. It's going to be Jitma Sandali and me. Okay, those are the three core players. Then let's take a look at word number eight. It is one space at the start, F, two spaces, R, two spaces, E, three spaces and Y at the end. Taraka, who will you be sending in first and what is the letter she would be like? Kin to unlock. First blank, uh, it's Jitma. Jitma for the first blank. Well, it was an unsuccessful attempt. Captain, who are you sending in next? And what is the letter you would like unlocked? Who will you be sending in? The blank before R. The blank before R. And who is coming in? Well, Taraka, who is coming in? You are coming in. And what is the blank you would like unlocked? What is the blank? You need to decide what the blank is first. Blank after F. The blank after F for Taraka. <laughs> the captain too was not able to score that point for the team. Are you going to send in more players or are you going to guess what the word is? If I come closer, the situation is going to be even worse. Are you going to guess what the word is? Taraka, you need to make a quick decision. What's your decision? You're sending another player and what is that letter she would be unlocking? 
What Bla is that blank? You blank. need to make a quick decision. Blank before E. Blank before E. And who will you be sending in? Tilara. Tilara? Okay, here you go. Taraka, are you going to send me your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Taraka, you need to make your decision. Your time is starting to click. Okay, seems like they are not going to send in more players. So I'll be starting my countdown. It starts 10, 9, 8. We are sending a fifth player. Too late. You didn't answer when I asked you. And I started my countdown. Seven. Six. Both schools seem to be facing the same situation. Five. Four. Three. R. Two. One and a half. One. Your time is up. Ratnavali. Balika. With Dialya. Two. Was unable to guess what the word is. So for all of us watching at home, online, and even right now, let's focus attention and see what that word is. You heard it. You saw it yourself. What is the word, Taraka? <laughs> Spell the word out. Effortlessly. Well, it's the end of three exciting and challenging rounds here on TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. We all need to take a little bit of a short breather and we'll be right back with more excitement and the results at the end of three rounds. This is TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are now right back after round three and we have the scores to reveal before you. We have Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya in round three unfortunately scored themselves minus 10 points and that brings their total to 76 points. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya in round three scored themselves zero points and that maintains their total at 103 points. Well, that is the current standing of both teams at the end of round three. Well, round three was indeed a very challenging and pressurizing one because you would have seen for yourself just before the commercial break, none of the two teams were able to guess what the word was. But things could progress or things could be a game changer for one team or another. And we also have a new addition. We need to find out, but first, here is round four, which we call Target. Your knowledge. In round four, Target Your Knowledge, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. And we have a little mini golf course set up inside the studio where each of our players have a chance to try their luck at using the golf club, shooting the ball into any one of the holes. And the holes each correspond to a particular color and a particular subject based on which they will then be asked a question. Each question answered correctly gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and answer correctly, they will get 50 points. If they choose to double and answer incorrectly, that will result in negative marking. Well, there you go. Those were the rules and regulations of our new addition to TV1 Pentathlon Round 2. Well, I would like to read what these colors symbolize. Blue is sports and games, yellow is art and entertainment, red is science and technology, orange is history, then green is geography, purple is literature, and white is, of course, which we all call Trump, where you could select any of those said topics if you get Trump on your subject. Well, with that being said, Let's focus attention first and foremost to Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya Gaul. 
Lumini, who are your three core players? Sahanya, Samadhi and Sandali will be And who will be coming in first? Samadhi will be coming. Samadhi, come down. Three, two, one, start. Well, one unsuccessful attempt, but you got two more to go. Let's see how it works. <laughs> so it's yellow, which is art and entertainment. You've got arts. Would you like to go in for a double? No. No. Okay, let's take a look at your visuals. Titled The Kiss. That was a painting by Austrian symbolist painter and one of the most prominent members of the Vienna Secession movement. Name him. Your options are A. Jean Renoir, B. Edward Munch, C. Gustav Klimt, or D. Edward Monet. Edward Munch. Edward Munch. Edward Munch. Edward Munch. Time is ticking. D D D E. B. Captain. Captain says B. B. Edward Munch. That is the incorrect answer. The correct answer is C. Gustav Klimt. Well, the girls were unable to guess what the correct answer is, but let's move our attention to. The girls from Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya and ask the captain who her three co players are. It's Chitma, Tilara, and Akitma. And who will be coming in first? Tilara. Come forward. <laughs> three, two, one, start. Well, she aimed at yellow, and which means it is art and entertainment. Arts and entertainment is what you got. Do you want to go in for a double? No, let's take a look at your visuals. Name this Chinese actress who at modern times became the most popular Chinese actor in the West. Your options are A. Tiffany Tang B. Michelle Yeo C. Gong Li or D. Zhang Ziyi C. Gong Li. C. Gong Li. Have you ever seen that lady before? <laughs> no, not really. So that was a guess. Okay. You said the answer is C. Gong Li. The correct answer is D. Zhang Zi Yi. I'm sorry, your answer was incorrect. Well, both schools were not able to answer their A, B, C, D questions given to them. Let's move on to Sangamita Balika Vidyale and ask the captain who will be coming in next. Sandali. Okay, Sandali, come forward. Okay, three, two, one, go. Well, Sandali got orange, which is history. You've got history? Would you like to go in for a double? No, no. let's take a look at your visual. A leading figure of the Soviet Union since 1920, he was instrumental in implementing Joseph Stalin's policies. He was also the Soviet Foreign Minister during the Second World War. Name him. Your options are A. Vyacheslav Molotov Molotov B. Yuri Andropov C. Leonid Brezhnev or D. Nikita Kushrev. Your time is ticking. D. D. Nikita Khrushchev is your answer. The correct answer is A. Vyacheslav Molotov. Well, they were not able to get that answer right. Well, that was Sangamita Balika Vidyale. Let's shift our attention to Ratnavali Balika and see if 
they are able to get this right. Captain, who will you be sending in next? Sakit Ma. Come forward. Three, two, one, start. Well, it is a drum. Well, it is a drum, which means you can select any of your favorite topic. Geography. Geography. Geography is your favorite topic. Okay, Trishma, so you got geography ready? Geography is what you've selected. Would you like to go in for a double? Let's take a look at your visual. This popular landmark named Cloud Gate is a public sculpture by Indian-born British artist Sir Anish Kapoor. It is located in which US city? Your options are A. San Francisco B. Atlanta C. Seattle or D. Chicago Your time is ticking. Four, three, two, D. You've answered D. Chicago. How sure are you about your answer? <laughs> not sure at all? 75%. 75%. Not, that, not too bad. All right. You've answered D. Chicago. The correct answer is D. Chicago. Taraka says she's finally breathing a little bit because finally they have been able to break that barrier and score at least one point or be the first school to score one point in this match. Okay, so that's how they faced it. Let's shift the attention to the opponents and see who will be coming in next. Come down. You are ready. Okay, go for it. That was an unsuccessful attempt, but you got two more attempts. Here you go. Well, Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya has been able to get a drum. Even the last player was able to get that. So, let's ask them what subject they would like to prefer. Science. Science and technology. Okay, let's go for it. Would you like to go in for a double? No. All right, let's take a look at your visual. He is the founder of LinkedIn, a social networking site for professionals. Name him. Your options are A. Richard Ellis B. Reid Hoffman C. Rees Weathers or D. Rick Stojan Option you have selected is B. Reed Hoffman. Are you sure about this answer? Okay, they're not very sure. They have said the answer is B. Reed Hoffman. B. Reed Hoffman is the correct answer. Well, it worked well for them as well. So I guess both schools are in equal grounds, but there is yet one more player. From Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya Gampaha. Taraka, over to you to send your final player. Chitma. Come down. Chitma, are you ready? Yes. You are ready. Okay, go for it. Your school already got the opportunity of yellow art and entertainment, which means you have another chance to try your luck. Well, you got a trump yeah. again, which means you can select the preferred topic. Taraka, what will you be selecting? History. History is what we have selected. Let's see how it goes. History is what you have selected. Would you like to go in for a double? Okay, let's take a look at your visual. He was the military leader of the Confederacy during the American Civil War. Name this general. Your options are A. 
Ulysses S. Grant, B. Robert E. Lee, C. Jonathan Stonewall Jackson, or D. George Custer? Answer is C. Jonathan Stonewall Jackson. C. Jonathan Stonewall Jackson. Is that a random guess? <laughs> Big smile, which means it means yes. So, you have said C is your option. The correct answer is B, Robert E. Lee. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. Well, the final attempt by the girls from Gampa was also unsuccessful. Well, we need to see how the scores look. But the audience, if you are able to get a glimpse of our audience from both schools, they're all tying their hands very tight and praying. And it's very nice to see that that pressure, that commitment towards their schools. Everyone is just joining their hands and praying and believing in their gods, hoping that someone would be getting those points. Well, it's time for us to figure out and find out how the scores look like at the end of four competitive rounds. Time now for us to find out what the scores look like at the end of four rounds. In the fourth round, we saw Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya scoring themselves 25 points and bringing their total up to 101 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya in the fourth round also scored themselves 25 points and that brings their total up to 128 points. Well, there you go. Those are the points at the end of four competitive and challenging rounds. Well, somehow, both schools have managed to surpass the 100 mark, but we are moving on to a very exciting and challenging and knowledge-filled round, which is the fifth round, and we call it the buzzer up. We're now in the fifth and final round when fortunes can change for any one of these schools. The rules are very simple. We have 10 questions and each correct answer gives them 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. What color is polar bear's skin? Sahanya. Black. Black is the correct answer. <laughs> question number two. What is the number of official languages accepted in United Nations? Jitma? 14. 14 is the incorrect answer. Do we have an answer from here? Sahanya? 5. 5 is also the incorrect answer. The correct answer is 6. Question number 3. Name the largest lake located in the Asian continent. Sahanya? Caspian Sea. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number 4. After Mandarin, English and Hindi, what is the fourth most commonly spoken language of the world? Time's up. The correct answer is Spanish. We move on to question number five. Name the first female to become an ambassador for Sri Lanka. Akitma. Can you say it again? Lorani Sena Ratna. And that's the correct answer. We move on to question number six. Name the only continent where you don't find bees. bees. Time's up. The correct answer is Antarctica. Question number seven. Earth's mass is mainly made of iron and which other? Sahanya? Nickel. Let me continue the question. Earth's mass is made mainly of iron and which other element? That is the incorrect answer. Do we... Uh, Akitma? Oxygen. Oxygen is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number eight. Name the world's largest hydropower generating dam. Tarika. Aswan. That's the incorrect answer. Do we have an answer here? Yes. Rogam. That is also the incorrect answer. The correct answer is Three Gorges Dam. To question number nine. Who is the only person 
to have become president of the US without winning a presidential election or as a death of a sitting president. Time is up. The correct answer is Gerard Ford. And now, here we have the final question of the final round. Question number 10. Name the first colour film to have won Best Picture Oscar. Sandali? Jazz Singer. Can you repeat that? Jazz Singer. No, that's the incorrect answer. Do we have an answer from here? No, you don't have the answer. The correct answer is Gone with the Wind. Five interesting rounds just concluded on this very stage. And we are yet to find out which of these schools is it going to be Ratnavali or is it going to be Sangamita who will be getting close to the grand finale of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, we also will be awarding that special title, the pentathlete, in this game. It could be either from my left-hand side or it could be from my right-hand side. We are yet to find out. The judges are in the process of getting their marks sorted out. We'll be back with all the excitement. Stay tuned, stay locked. This is TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. Two. Welcome back to TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. We just got done with five very interesting rounds, closely fought between our two schools here, Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya and Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya from Gampaha and from Gaul. That's right, Rishma. And also, remember, just before going on to a commercial break, we told that we'll be revealing that exciting title, which we award in each and every match. And I think it's time for us to do that. And how do we usually get around this? Yes, indeed. The pentathlete of the day title is always announced by our judges. So let's ask them to reveal their decision. Who will be the best pentathlete today? That by considering all your performances, we selected Sahanya from Sangamitta Balika Vidyale as the best pentathlete. Well, thank you very much for reading out that decision and awarding the pentathlete. Sahanya, congratulations. Last time was it, was it you? It was you last time. So this time the girl on the other side won the pentathlete. How do you feel about it? Happy, feeling happy. You're very happy about it? Did you work really hard for this? You work really hard. Well, hard work definitely pays off here on Pentathlon Season 2. With that being said, now that we got to know who the pentathlete is, the fight is between Sangamita Balika Vidyale Gaul and Ratnavali Balika Vidyale Gampaha. We are to find out who will be getting closer to the grand finale of TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Let's find out the final result. In round five, we saw the girls from Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya unfortunately scored themselves zero points and that brings them to the final of 101 points. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya in round five scored themselves 15 points and that brings them to the grand total. The winning score today, 143 points. Congratulations to Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya for clinching that winning total. But nevertheless, it is a great effort put by the opponents all the way from Gampa. Let's also put our hands together for Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya. And in order to continue with the presentation, I would like to invite our panel of judges to please arrive on stage to assist us with the presentation. Well, we heard it from the judges that the best performer today, the pent athlete of this match, goes to Sahanya from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya.
Well, Sahamia walks away with the title of Pentathlete. It's time for us to recognize the hard work put in by the opponents. Let's all put our hands together for the team led by Tharaka. All the way from Gampa, it's Ratnavali Balika Vidyale. Okay, so with that, we conclude the presentation and it's time for us to once again recognize the hard work put in by Ratnavali Balika Vidyalaya. Well, I don't think we'll be seeing each other on this platform, but nevertheless, hats off for your hard work and definitely we'll be seen very soon, Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya with us on this very platform in Games to Progress. While well, we also thank our judges for being with us and giving out their best decision in order to carry on a very smooth game until the very end. Thank you very much for your presence. With that being said, Krishma, it's time for us to wrap things for today. Well, we've come to the end of this match, which was the second match in the second round of season two of Pentathlon. And as you can see, we're very excited to be going back into the next round with smiling faces with us here on stage. On that note, we'll see you all next Sunday, same time, same channel. So please remember to stay tuned. This is TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season, season two. 2. As we hold hands together to build up a future soon. We know learning is endless. A sea of knowledge we